So God of War just came out, what, like a month ago? GDC just happened and the hype's kind of dying down a little bit. We're all super excited about God of War. It's here, but what does that mean? I know that a lot of you that watch this channel are maybe in the midst of making something or frankly haven't even started. You're probably thinking to yourself, what version do I use? You've got Gato 3.5, which honestly has not been around that long. And now you've got Gato 4.0, which one? It depends. It really boils down to the fact of whether or not you're within three different camps. And the question of which version is kind of an important one because there are differences between the two. There are graphical differences between 3.5 and 4.0. Some of the node terminology has changed. I, I know if you have any shaders in 3.5 that use either a depth or screen texture, you put those into 4.0, you're gonna immediately get nothing. But how you reference those two textures within your shaders has changed. Now they're not hard fixes, at least in that case, but there are some things that are a little bit more difficult to do than just switching out one line of code. Group number one. So you're in this group if you have done absolutely, positively, zero game development ever. You've not used Unreal, you've not used Unity, you've not used Gato. You haven't done any game development, you're just starting out. And because you're starting out, you don't really know what's in 3.5 and you don't care. You don't have that history, you don't have that experience. If you've never done any game development at all before and you're just starting out, go ahead and jump in the four. In my opinion, there's absolutely no reason to go to 3.5. You don't know what's changed because you've never used it. Every single thing will be new. And while there is an argument to say that there might be bugs and there might be things in 4.0 that aren't working as well as they work in 3.5, that's the stage that they're in right now. It's bug killing time. And frankly, if you've never done any game development in your life, you're not gonna be doing things that are so complex that you're gonna run into those bugs. You're gonna be happy if you can take a character, probably one that you download off the internet and make it jump and run across the screen. Like, that's a win. And obviously if that's what you're going for, either of these versions is fine, but 4.0 is where it's gonna be out. You don't wanna be learning everything on what is essentially gonna be old tech in about half a year to a year. So to summarize, if you've never done any game development in your life, Gato 4. Group number two, if you are in the middle of a game development project or a game and you're getting pretty close to the end and you're working in 3.5, just stick with it. There are enough substantial changes between 3.5 and 4.0 that you're going to be spending a lot of time trying to get that migrated to the newer version. And obviously that's dependent upon how complex your game is, how large your game is, what type of game it is. But for the most part, you've done the work, it's working. 3.5 is fully capable of creating a commercial product. There is no game that has been released for the Gato engine that has been released in 4.0. Everything has been done in 3.5. And if it worked for them, it's gonna work for you. So stick with 3.5 if you're gonna be at a point in five to six months that you're gonna be releasing your game or project. The ship has sailed, you've already done it. Enjoy it finish it up, move on to the next thing. Now, I will say that there's one caveat to this, that if the game that you're working on has a specific feature that is not possible within 3.5, or is really more difficult in 3.5, and 4.0 is gonna make your life that much easier, maybe you think about it. Which kind of brings us to the third and final group. If you're working on a game or a project and you are just starting out, then it might make sense to go to four. Again, you're at a point in your work where you're just starting out, and more than likely you're not past the point of no return when it comes to migrating that to 4.0. Now, could you run into bugs? Could you run into problems during that process? Absolutely, but you're gonna be looking at a point in one, one and a half years, those bugs are gonna get figured out and you're gonna be continuing to work on your game. The advantages of moving to 4.0 can be pretty substantial, especially when you think about all the things that might be happening within the next year or year and a half. You're already seeing places that do courses like GD Quest, they're migrating to four. New features, new assets, new plugins. 
they're more than likely gonna be focusing on four. Maybe they look at 3.5, but for the most part, it's gonna be 4.0 going forward. So if you wanna future-proof not only your game and your project, but also your experience and skill of working within the engine, things that you learn in 3.5 are gonna be obsolete. And the things that you're gonna be learning in 4.0 are just gonna be at the beginning, at the cusp of all these really cool things that are gonna be happening in not too long a time. So to recap, if you are just starting out, Gato 4.0. If you are working on a project that is getting pretty close to the end and you're working in 3.5, stick with it. Keep going, finish the project, move on, start your next one in 4.0. If you just started on a project and you can see the advantage of having some of the new features within 4.0, then take that jump. So hopefully that answered your question about 3.5 or 4.0, the true question is when do we move to five?